What? What? Fufa, what are we going to do right now? We are calling our shot. I'm calling my shot, and I'm coming after those two pretty little faces of yours. And if you haven't been watching Wrestling Open for the last two years, we always hit our bullseye. Well, there you go. Calling his shot is Pedro Dones, as this one already had some history behind it, but it keeps getting more heated as the weeks go along. Curious who's going to be starting things off. Perhaps Brad Baylor and Big Bufa. Brad Baylor really hasn't let it go that he lost it. Desmond Cole. And the thing that I noticed the most about that, or it looks like it's going to be Donas starting off, but the biggest observation I took last week is that Baylor kept getting more and more frustrated as the match continued, and Bufa stayed cool, calm, and collected. It seems like the words of Pedro Donas getting under the skin of Swipe Right. I don't know how much time these guys spent on the apps, but uh, maybe they're not exactly the ladies men that they... Uh, Fancy themselves to be. Yeah, I think Pedro Donas was saying, you guys always come out here every week and you're all by yourself. I don't see you guys on any dates. But nonetheless... Well, we can have a separate show for that on IWTV. We probably should. Well, look at Brad Baylor, the 19-year vet, as Brother Greatness refers to him as 19 years old. He is well beyond his years <laughs> as far as his wrestling IQ. But Pedro Donas, as you saw there before the match, knows exactly how to get under somebody's skin, and that comes with real experience. Stocky, thick build from Pedro Donas wiped out a man almost twice his size, and two in the same to Ricky Smokes. He just smoked him. Donas has changed a new leaf, as you talked about last summer, when he turned away from the way Ray Jazz was doing things. And it has been night and day with Pedro Donas, because for the first year and a half, he was one of the most despicable people here at Open, but I think he realized he can call his shot in a much different way. Look at the way Bufa set in the pace here, especially after that 20 plus minute contest against Leo Rush, headlining the Beyond Wrestling Kick Super Show this past Sunday. Those two went tooth and nail. It actually was too fast to call. Oh, and look at that. Going cheap is Ricky Smokes. I mean, these two kids coming together, Smokes and Baylor, it is like the perfect pairing. It's like they were meant to be a team. And that is for many reasons, one of which is they love taking shortcuts. Uh-oh. Misdirection there. I think Bufa was able to pull Ricky Smokes into his partner, saved himself. But Baylor firing a big right shot. See a reversal of the position from Big Bufa up and over. Unable to trip up Baylor, but wipes him off the street with a drop kick. Big time drop kick from the Big Bufa. Hooks the leg, and since the beginning of January of 2023, when Bufa was lost, he was flailing here at Wrestling Open. He went through his saga with the Church of Greatness all of last year, and you can see it week after week. It is like the confidence keeps bursting through different roofs put above him. He might be the most confident man at Wrestling Open. I'm really surprised by these combinations, the tandem offense, from Bufa and Donez, like really he, stringing together some effective combos here, Paul. Oh, look at that. Donez almost elbowed Bufa in the face trying to execute that double team move. Well, some assisted uh, on the slams, the sentons, as it were. Oh, boy. And now it's Ricky Smokes that's getting used as a weapon. It's gonna be tough for Baylor to take deep breaths right now. Common enemies can build great teams, but it can also get people on the same page in a hurry. Oh, oh. no, there's an Insagiri Bufa. Went for broke, and he might have been broken there. Do you think that Donuts is going to dive in instead of assessing the situation and, and, and perhaps think it better? Yeah, I think he realizes now uh -oh. the predicament he finds himself in. Here we go. He's going to fight it out two on one here. Bufa is down, but this is just too much, even for the shot call. Bufa in front of us really favoring that hand. He might have tried to get it up to defer some of the impact of the kick. Who knows what kind of condition. There's so many small bones in the hand and in the wrist. And turning our attention back into the ring, that spine buster has Donas writhing in pain on the mat and Brad Baylor addressing the fans here at the White Eagle, Worcester, Massachusetts. As there is 
Donez going face first into that turnbuckle. And here is where the shot caller is going to be tested because we usually see him in singles competition. He's not used to a tag team setting where there are two competitors who can stay fresh coming at you the entire time. Leg is hooked. After a big elbow drop, Donut's able to get the left shoulder off the mat. And you know this as far as the history of tag team wrestling. You can go in there with a partner for the first time. You can get on a roll, but the second you lose momentum, you're lost out there. You guys can't communicate non-verbally like you would with other partners you're more familiar with. Absolutely, 100%. Makes Great back elbow from Ricky Smokes. Nothing pretty, certainly effective. Trying to keep his cool as Brad Baylor is acting like a fool on the apron. Swipe right doesn't just want to swipe right into victory. This is the ultimate vanity project for these two. They love the attention that they get coming here to Wrestling Open week after week. And that is what this whole swipe right phenomenon is all about. Pedro fighting back. Thunderous chop. And Ricky Smokes responding in kind. Now he's got Pedro hooked. Can he get him up and over? That was a picture perfect suplex floating over right into the pin. But Donez gets out, and this all started because Donez and Ricky Smokes and Bufa were in the same block in the Jumbo Grand Prix. And Ricky Smokes took a cheap shot at Bufa after he lost, and that is when Donez came to save Bufa. Another attack from Swipe Right. Pedro Donez really getting isolated after Big Bufa took a nasty spill on that floor after getting kicked. Scoop slam from Baylor. This kid is six foot four, 200 and I don't know how many pounds, but just think about that. Athletes, when they are young, especially think of the NFL draft, the NBA draft. Jason Tatum, for example, he came out of the draft, he was six eight. The summer left, he came back, he was 6'11". I mean, these guys continue to develop and become better, and that is why Baylor is so scary, Jason. Got that front face lock applied right now, trying to choke the life out of Pedro Donez, trying to put the inside of his forearm across the carotid artery, prevent the flow of blood to the brain, and honestly, Donez cannot afford to be discombobulated because I think it's his wits, it's his smarts that make him such a good professional wrestler. The 2020 New York City Teacher of the Year, featured in Time Magazine, did I make that up? No, you did not. He is a very highly respected teacher in the city of New York, and he wants to try to teach Swipe Right a thing or two, but he needed that kick out if he wanted to get that lesson across. Got to try and shake the cobwebs. He's got to try and fight his instincts and realize he's got somebody else in his corner. He doesn't have to do it on his own. Finally starting to reach over to Bufa. Bufa making enough noise that Pedro is at least cognizant of it for a second. But each one of these shots raining down on the temple, a potential knockout blow. Brad Baylor was just over here yelling at a five-year-old in the crowd. This, this kid is something else. Well, somebody his age that he can relate to. Yeah. Well, Pedro Donas trying to battle his way back here. And look at that, Ricky Smokes brought Donas right over to the corner to continue to taunt him. But hold on, Baylor goes down. Donas with a back elbow. This could be his chance. For that sunset flip, takes his opponent over. Smokes rolls through, too much momentum. Misses with the boot, and here comes the big Bufa. Bufa gets the tag, and here we go. Explosive offense from Desmond Paul. He is as quick as a hiccup. Lightning-like maneuvers, sweeps the leg, and perhaps he's fully recovered his time on the apron, but now he's got both members of Swipe Right to contend with. Bufa all over the dance floor, as electric as ever. Brad Baylor starting to stir, Pedro Dono still wiped out in a heap of himself. Well, Baylor just joined him right there on the floor as Bufa continuing to be on fire. Precision with his variation of a rolling thunder into the leg drop. And even with the leg hook, Smokes not rolling over for the big Bufa. As here we go, Bufa now. Looking to impart a little gravity on Ricky Smokes. Looking for that gravity style slam. Smokes did his homework. There's a right hand. There's a boot from Smokes, and just like that, the momentum has been cut down and swipe right. Might indeed swipe right into victory. Well, you can see the sense of urgency out of Smokes and out of Baylor. 
We have one minute left here. Shiranagi makes the cover. Is that gonna do it? Donez making the save. I'll give the devil his due. Baylor has been able to keep control of his temper as this matchup approaches the 10 minute time limit. And this thing is breaking down in a hurry. They need to rush if they want to pick up a victory here. Oh, good lord! I mean, Pedro Donas throwing caution to the wind. 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds left. Here we go. Bufa going up. Swanton bomb. That's what beat Leo Rush. Here we go. Pedro Donas getting pushed away. And oh. Ricky Smokes pulling his partner to the floor. I think that Bufa would have had it, Paul. I think he had it too, but he just made a big save. Nine, 10 eight, seconds left. They're not going to get a count on victory. Three, oh my goodness. Two, one. And they're not going to stop fighting. That was the bell. And these two teams just beating the hell out of each other right in front of us. Ladies and gentlemen, at 10 minutes, the referee has ruled this match a time limit draw. Well, it might be a time limit draw, but they're not done fighting get, get this one out. Get away from us. This one is out of control. 